Patreon of Jevo today and receive a ton of perks including Discord roles, early access content, private support channels, code snippets, and more. Join today at patreon.com slash jevajs. Alright, what is up guys? My name is Zua from Jeva today. Um, we're going to be doing uh, HTTP requests and uh, different methods with APIs. Um, API usage, so we're going to be, you know, for this resource, if you're not familiar with APIs and the routes, um, I'm going to try to explain it the best I can. Um, but pretty much this, we're, this episode, we're just going to be doing uh, a simple GET request from, an, from a free API. Um, and we're going to do a post request to Discord, uh, so we'll be using Discord's webhook uh, API. And uh, we're going to be linking that to our game in 5M, so uh, let's get started here. I'm going to open up this in VS. Um, what did I just do? Okay, I don't know why that opened. But, um, uh, okay, I, I have no idea why that's opening that. But I'm just gonna make the folder here, um, or make a file here called underscore underscore resource uh, dot lua, and I'm also gonna be making a file called um, webhook underscore uh, s. This little s underscore that just stands for server. It's a good uh, good little habit to get to when you have uh, that kind of stuff. I don't know what's wrong with my little thing here. Oh, I just have that open. Okay, whatever. Um, so, what I want to do now is I'm gonna start off with uh, the resource style Lua. Um, we're gonna do <clears throat> we're gonna do um, we're doing we're doing server underscore script because um, this is I'm gonna make this all into a server script um, with the commands. So we're gonna do uh, webhook webhook underscore s dot lua and then right here in that file uh, let's start off with writing off the post request to discord so I'm gonna create a little uh, variable or this little um, object here that's how it's called table um, so I'm gonna call it discord underscore web hook is equal to and a table which uh, we're gonna give it two uh, attributes I guess uh, these will be strings and then image is equal to that so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna be sending uh, let me get discord here I already have a little channel right here we're gonna be sending um, uh, our the chat from the game into this little webhook test area here so um, we'll have to in order to get the webhook URL uh, what we're going to do is click edit channel and you have to be an admin for your server so uh, I did that I'm in settings and then webhooks um, oops I have streamer mode on let me turn that off uh, hold on Okay, so I turned off um, stream remote, so I should be able to create webhooks now. Um, sorry about that. So what I want to do is, um, you can name this whatever you want, um, but we're going to make it automatically change so it won't matter. Uh, you'll see uh, what that means later. So I'm going to copy this webhook URL, which is what we want, and click save. Um, so there's my webhook now in the server. I'm going to go in here and type in, or just paste that webhook in here. And um, the image, I already have an image uh, that I want. It'll be a URL from uh, any website. It's The URL that I have will be the Jeva, uh, what's it called? It'll just be the Jeva logo, as you can see right here. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, now what I wanna do is, um, I'm gonna do the post request. So in order to do that, we're gonna have to listen for messages from the chat resource. So I'm gonna do add event handler, which is I don't think we've done this before, but it's pretty simple and straightforward. So the uh, event we'll be listening to is a chat message, and then uh, comma. This has a callback of uh, source author 
end text. And I'm gonna click end. Oops. Okay, so uh, now what we're gonna want to do is use the uh, the CFX native uh, that they made uh, as perform, and this only works in the server side. So what, this is why we did the. This is why this is a server uh, file and a server resource pretty much as so we're gonna do it, perform HTTP uh, request request make sure you spell that all right with the um, the following uh, caps so I'm gonna do that and then we're, we're gonna want to pick this URL right here so I'm gonna do discord webhook dot uh, URL to you know get it from there so it'll be posting something uh, from that URL and then we're gonna have to have a function this has a callback in it itself error text and header but we don't need to do this because we're not getting information I mean you could still use this if you want but uh, it's kind of pointless unless you know you have uh, downtime or some sort of uh, what's it called uh, just down time with your webhook if it's a custom one and you get errors usually but we don't really need to since it's discord um, I'm gonna do um, all right, so th now the next one will be uh, I'm, I'm gonna make it like this kind of weird um, hold on, let me make this just like how I made it okay uh, the, the next parameter of this this native right here will be um, post and then um, what we're gonna want to do after post is we're gonna send the data that we want to the webhook to, uh, so yeah let's let's do that so I'm gonna want to do is what I want to do is JSON or it's not, JSON dot encode so this has to be in JSON we're using the JSON library for Lua the one that 5m uses so I'm gonna do JSON dot encode because we can't send Lua tables we have to send it as uh, JSON data so I'm gonna do username uh, is equal to author which is as you remember right here author is what we get so when we say something in chat the username of the webhook will be the author and um, the content of the webhook which is the actual message itself will be equal to the text which is right here the text of whoever types that in and then the avatar URL avatar underscore URL is equal to the one we've already defined in this discord webhook table so I'm going to do discord webhook dot image and then that is done so as you can see that is good and then this has um, another we're gonna do uh, comma uh, content content type oops content hyphen type just like this uh, is equal to application slash JSON so we're gonna be sending this data as JSON which is why we're encoding it as a JSON uh, as JSON data so that should be all correct hopefully I did not I messed hopefully I didn't mess up the syntax we'll find out later so uh, that should work now what we, now what we want to do now is or uh, like that will work now this post request right here that we've made uh, this is all posting data to you know with this native right here but uh, now what we're going to want to do is we're going to get data from it so this is something different I'm going to do register register command um, get space and I'll tell you why we're naming it that uh, just because um, it's a free so pretty much get space or it's called uh, something else but there's a free uh, API that you're allowed to use uh, for free uh, it's called uh, I don't know what it's called but it's just a it'll just tell you how many people are in space right now like on the ISS um, so it's I guess it's pretty cool I guess it's not really related to 5m but it's just a free little uh, API that we're gonna use so what we're gonna do is to get the data from this API um, this is the link for it right here uh, if you were to click on this link I'll show you um, it'll just uh, spit out some JSON data it, it would probably spit out something like this uh, which is a normal uh, you know API get whatever you want to call it data 
So we're going to be parsing this data and sending it to the user from whenever someone says get space. So let's do that right now. What I want to do is um, do perform HTTP request and then the URL like we've done up here. Uh, we're just going to copy that in here. And then um, now what I want to do is create a function. We're actually going to be using this now. Um, oops, function uh, error text header and that function so in here we're gonna be uh, getting the text so the text that we get from this as you can see we're not using it up here we're not using this text or you know we're not gonna use this header uh, because we're simply just sending data but to get data this is this callback will take in the data so I'm gonna do I'm gonna create a variable called uh, data which is equal to JSON dot decode uh, text so when we get the text back um, it'll send it as a JSON file or it'll send as JSON data uh, JSON text and uh, Lua doesn't really know like how to parse that so we use the JSON module like we did up here JSON encode because the API you know most APIs will use uh, JSON because uh, that's just how it is now um, what we're gonna want to do now is um, we're gonna do trigger Client event chat. Oops, chat add message. We're gonna send this data to the client now. So the, we're gonna be sending it to the source, whoever requested it. Now the args will be equal to um, just. Well, we're just gonna make it one argument. Um, it's it's not gonna be that complicated here. Hold on, let me make this a lot better. I don't know why I didn't make it better, but okay. So args will be um, there's just going to be one string in here, and it'll tell you uh, there are currently x amount of people in space. So I'm going to use a different kind of joining uh, strings or a different way of joining strings in Lua, which is honestly a lot better. It's called uh, string dot format. <clears throat> so to use this, <clears throat> excuse me. To use this, uh, what we want to do is do string dot format. Um, and you'll see how this works. So we're gonna say there are currently um, percent s. So this is what it's gonna be um, using as to replace it. So this is like a string. This s stands for string. Um, people in space. Now we have to make this substitute a value in here. So after the comma here, we're gonna type in data dot number. Now you might be wondering where we're getting this dot number from. If you remember uh, when we spit out this data right here, the once we decode it uh, into Lua, which is what we did right here, um, we do, um, so this is the body, and then the people, that's one attribute, and then the other is uh, number. So we do data, which is all of this, this is all data, dot number, which is where we're getting that from, which is, uh, I guess it could be a little complicated if you've never worked with APIs. But um, that's just why that is. Um, so yeah, it'll just be data dot number, and um, <clears throat> that's pretty much it for that. Oh, now we have to make it a get request. I forgot about that. Um, I should have ended it like that. Where did I stop? Okay, so I'm gonna do comma after this, and do uh, instead of post how we did it up here, uh, we're gonna do get get and then uh, the last parameter is the headers well since we're not sending data it really doesn't matter so I'm going to do JSON dot encode uh, the same thing but we're not sending data so we're just getting data so it doesn't really matter and I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to copy the application JSON even though this uh, n this API only takes or gives JSON requests but it's good to keep it uh, precise so that should uh, that should work um, that's pretty much it uh, I'll go in game now and I'll show you how this works so yeah I'll be right back okay so now I'm in game and uh, here we are I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna type in, I'm gonna talk in chat so I'm gonna say 
hello discord and as you can see uh, my name as a username it says hello and then um, or my name is Zua which is as you can see Zua in the chat and the content is discord or hello discord which is exactly what I did so uh, I can be like uh, what's up what's up guys and then it'll show up right here almost instantly and so it sends it to discord through the uh, little webhook we made right here and uh, yeah and once you delete that webhook it'll stop sending messages and you'll probably get errors in your script so I'd keep that webhook in there if you're gonna keep using it and uh, you could do a lot of moderation stuff with this uh, I, I've seen you know scripts that have you know taken really good uh, really good um, you know stuff input I don't know what I'm saying uh, really good implementation with this API right here with the discord webhook stuff so yeah now let's do let's also do slide do slash get space and it says there are currently six people in space um, I'll show you um, here, where do we do it uh, I'm gonna do print uh, text or I'll do print data to see uh, you can see that the here, hold on, restart um, web hook if I were to do slash get space you can see that it will print out a table right here and um, let me do uh, let me, let's print out the text I'm gonna do restart web hook and uh, get space you can see that uh, once we do get all of the data that we have taken from that API is the exact same thing as if I were to click on this link um, and compare it as you can see this is just formatted the same way this literally is the exact same thing as uh, this Hold on. Um, yes yeah, it's, it's the exact same thing as this API it just takes it and it does a get request now if you were to click on this the discord webhook thing it wouldn't work uh, as I mean it would tell you that but some APIs that only take in uh, get record they only take post requests it wouldn't give you anything but uh, yeah there we go that's that and um, that's pretty much it for this video uh, thank you guys for watching uh, thank you to the patrons uh, and subscribe so yeah uh, thank you guys and uh, see ya